Okay, if you notice on this report, notice how we have records from Austria and the Czech Republic and France and Germany and Italy. And then uh, the report is grouped by uh, expense type. Like here you have all the hotel items together. And then at the bottom, I have a total for uh, the expense type. Well, I want to show you how to make something that's called a running total. A running total is like a subtotal, but the difference is you can put in criteria and just count certain records or just some certain records. So let's just say that for each different expense type, I, I want to show a separate total of the ones that are just from uh, Italy, for example. So uh, I'm going to go over here to something that's called a running total. This is under the field explorer. And I'm going to right click on that and pick on new. I'm going to give the running total a name. So, you know, you, you use something that's going to be common sense. I'm going to call this one Italy total. Um, the field to summarize, in this case, I want it to be the, um, the U.S. dollar amount. And we're going to do a sum. So you're, you're thinking that it's kind of like a subtotal, and it is. Except here is where it, it varies from a subtotal. We can actually put different kinds of criteria. So if you evaluate it for every re record, then, you know, every record will accumulate. If, if a field changes, you want it to accumulate on the change of group. Uh, we can accumulate that field, or if you want to put in something special, you pick on use a formula. That's what we're going to do. I want to pick on use a formula, and then you're going to pick on this X2 over here, and that's going to bring it into the formula screen. So I'm, I only want to subtotal this field if the country equals, um, equals Italy. So I just picked on the country field, and I'm going to say equals Italy, or whatever your criteria would be. So in other words, this field is only going to sum when the, when the record's country equals Italy. Now, look what I'm going to do. The reset is also important. Uh, notice how the X2 turned red, uh, red, by the way. When an X2 is red like that, it means there's actually code behind that that may be helping with the, um, the formatting of your report. When we say reset this, if you say never, then it would be accumulating throughout the entire report. And maybe you put that in your report photo as like a grand total. On change of field, you know, if a certain field changes, we can reset it back to zero. But in this case, we're going to say change it on each group. So for each different expense type, then it'll go back to zero. All right, so um, you see, I'm trying to sum up the US dollar amount. I do want to do a sum. I'm only going to sum it when the country equals Italy. Uh, that's where you put your criteria in, and then in this case, I'm going to reset it for each group. I'm going to click on OK, and you're going to notice that over here, I have a new running total field that's called Italy Total. Let me show you how to use that now. Once that field is there, we're just going to bring it into the report. I'm going to pick up the Italy Total, move it into the group footer, and this then is the, the sum of the Italy records. And then I would probably put some text in there. I'll pick on text and say, um, you know, click right over here, and we'll say Italy subtotal. Now, I bet if we uh, had a calculator and added up all the Italy's on this page, it would com come out to be that number. Now, let's go to a different page. Now, this one only has a few, but notice how the subtotal is different for uh, this page, which we're drawing the incidentals. Let's see if we can add it up. There's not too many items here. So we have three and four and one, that's eight. Uh, this is four and two, that's six. Uh, then we have four and three is seven, eight is 15, that's where the five is coming from. Carry the one, uh, four, seven. So you can see it really did come out to be 7568 for the Italy items only, and that's called a running total. You use a running total to accumulate a number, maybe that's based on some kind of criteria. In this case, I only summed up the ones that were for Italy only. I put that on the group footer so that for each different page, I have uh, all of the Italy items and only the Italy items, as we can see. Powerful feature. That's called a running total.